Hello there, Leo, and welcome. This is your daily slash new moon reading for Monday, November 13th. We do have a new moon in Scorpio on this day, so definitely check where you have any Scorpio or 8th house placements in your chart. We are going to look into the energy as a collective for you, Leo, to see how this new moon in Scorpio will be affecting you, what's coming your way, what spirit wants to know. We're going to start it off with a number for you here, Leo, and see what number spirit is going to be highlighting for you. And you have triple ones. All right. Beautiful energy especially being in alignment with a new moon. You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning to manifest. So if you haven't been seeing the ones already, you will definitely start seeing the ones today. I feel like spirit is highly, highly giving you a really strong message here to understand and to know that your thoughts are being manifested very quickly around this time. So make sure your thoughts are positive. Make sure you are thinking about the things that you want over the things you do not want. Because it looks like you are in a very, very strong creative energy right now. And your word and your thoughts are your wand. So let's see what we got going on here from the moon phase deck and see what they're giving you here, Leo. Matching with this triple one energy, you have, ooh, eclipse in Virgo, reorganization. Choose duties and responsibilities carefully. Yeah. So I feel like there is something new coming into your life that is going to change your, change your routine, around this time, especially with Eclipse and Virgo energy, with reorganization. I definitely feel like for a lot of you Leos, you are in the process of removing and replacing certain things, certain habits, even people in your life. So I definitely feel like there could be a very strong energy of something new coming your way. And especially with this Scorpio new moon, granted, you have Virgo energy it doesn't matter. Scorpio does bring about an intense energy. So this new energy could come in very intensely or come it could come in very quickly to the point where it makes you feel like you need to reorganize right away. It's something like that. So let's see what we have going on from the other moon phase deck and see how else this is matching to your message here what is going on for leo and you also have the energy of wow full moon in cancer a personal issue reaches resolution all right so you know what's so so very interesting about how all these readings intertwine with each other um your most recent reading you got to look for triple nines and now your reading is to look for the ones. And in synchronized numerology, one does come after the number nine and vice versa. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you, you're really in the flow here. And it looks like there is going to be something that you've been worrying about reaching resolution. So I feel like there's something that's coming your way that is going to, one, reorganize your life, and two, lift a burden that you've been feeling burdened by. So it looks like this is a very personal reading here for you, Leo, where there is something that's coming in that feels new for you, that helps you resolve a certain disease, a certain pain, a certain issue, a certain trouble, a certain conflict that you've been having in your life. It looks like this new energy is going to be so strong that it not only changes your daily routine, but it also releases a burden from your energy. So keep in mind, once again, this is a Scorpio new moon and they are the rulers of the eighth house transformations. 
things along those lines. So I definitely feel like change is in the air for you here, Leo, in more ways than one. And Spirit wants you to know that. Your Archangel is Gabriel with inspiration. There it is. New inspiration, new answers, new truth, new offers, new sparks. Can you even see it says inspiration? There you go inspiration. So Archangel Gabriel coming in and Archangel Gabriel rules your th throat chakra. So I feel like for a lot of you, there could be some sort of healing that has to do with the throat or the neck or somehow in the region of the upper body. Um, that's for some of you who are connecting to a personal issue that could be somewhat have been painful or difficult for you. Whatever this is that's reaching res resolution and giving you new inspiration and new creations, a chance to manifest in your life, it looks like it is a... <sighs> How do I explain this? It looks like it is a reset type of energy. And I'm going to show you the reason why I feel this. Reorganization. Resolution. They both start with re. R-E. So I'm getting a huge reset energy. Reset to yourself. Reset to your daily routine. Reset to your work. Reset to your home life. Um, it could just be a strong reset to yourself with inspiration. Some of you may have been feeling like you were lacking in that department, weren't feeling really inspired by life, weren't really feeling that love for life, that passion for what you do, passion for yourself. Let's see what energy you are working with in a power position here for you, Leo, around this time. But it definitely looks like something is going to be changing your life. And and it's, you know, what's interesting is a lot of the times you see those titles on readings and you're like, okay, change my life. How? But this is actually very specific in the energy that something about this new moon, what it's bringing you, what it's influencing for you, or how it's directly, I want to say the word influence again, but I just used that word, how it's going to directly shift your life. It does look like it's bringing about a change, but it looks like it's a reset type of change and a new type of change. It's not like a change that you fear happening. It's a change that you want to see happen. That's the type of energy I'm getting. So let's see, you have the heart. Believe in your heart that you are meant to live a full life of passion, purpose, magic, and miracles. Yes, Leo, and you rule the heart. I knew I felt something with like the upper body region. Thank you, Spirit, for giving me that um, check mark there, giving me that you are correct. Because I see someone's body, but I don't really see their legs. So that's why I'm like upper body region, question mark. <laughs> so I also try to figure out what they're telling me as I'm doing this. Um, so let's continue on and see what your quantum oracle is. And then we'll get out your tarot theme cards and get some more details here. But there's definitely something new coming your way here. Ooh, the healing light with a spirit card. Real strong on a personal issue reaching resolution. You are receiving divine healing. And I feel like for a lot of you Leos who resonated with the most recent reading, where there was kind of not much happening or there was a need for you to just like relax, I feel like that's why you got that message. I feel like Spirit's been trying to bestow the healing light upon you but some of you may have just been doing too much or draining too much and not giving your chance giving yourself the chance to heal as well as spirit help you in this department so for my leos have who have taken a break this weekend i definitely feel like this is your personal reading because i've seen your comments i know there are very specific ones of you who have been like oh my gosh I've actually was guided to relax and stay home this weekend. And now your reading is about that. I feel like for some reason, this one is connecting to that one. I feel like they all intertwine somehow, some way. But I feel like these two are like brother and sister for some reason. 
Okay, so you also have the Ascended Masters with the Spirit card number seven. Oh yeah, you're receiving divine blessing. Spirit is definitely here to help you. And you've also gotten a message about that within the last week or so as well, that you are going to receive divine assistance. Ooh. And it looks like with this divine assistance with the Ascended Masters, it's underneath this eclipse in Virgo. So it gives me divine intervention. If you weren't in a position to reset your life, it looks like something is happening or something is coming your way that is going to feel like a divine intervention for some of you. And you also have a my, uh, an event. I don't know why I was about to say milestone. Some of you, yes. Great achievement card number one. All right, Leo, so it looks like this new moon in Scorpio is highly, highly favorable of you here. You are also a fixed sign, so when we do have certain moon phases that happen, you know, we do say pay attention to where you have any fixed sign energy in your chart. Since Scorpio is a fixed sign, Leo, you are already a fixed sign. So you being here on this channel means that you have some sort of Leo fixed sign energy in your chart somewhere. So I definitely feel like Scorpio is giving that helping hand energy to you here in more than one way where if there's things that needed to be released or need to be transformed away from or out of, whether they were inside of you or outside of you, this Scorpio new moon is going to do it for you. But it looks like they're doing it in a very positive way. So I like it. I do like it a lot. So you come, you are coming into a very great achievement here. Leo, and when this card comes out, I feel an energy of applause. So some people, oh, and then, then there you go. Four hands up here with the Ascended Masters. Granted, they're not clapping, but I'm getting, I see people clapping or congratulating someone. And I, that's the first thing I heard was milestone, yet this card says great achievement, which is interesting because there is a milestone card in this deck. So you are coming into some sort of great achievement. You have a flyer here that just was like not wanting to go back. Y'all, oh my God. I can't make this up. Here it is. The Wheel of Fortune flow. Card number 10. Another one, another one. You definitely have some new vibes coming in. It looks like your healed self is mirroring outwardly into your life to bring you this great achievement, to bring you this new energy, to bring you this new creation, to bring you this inspiration, to bring you resolution to a personal issue. Let's see what else you got going on. And now that we now keep in mind, we have the word personal issue here. So this gives very strong specific to this connection, but also gives it a huge sense of generalization because a lot of you do not have the same issue, right? So here we go. We have embrace with the world. Yeah, there is definitely huge close of a cycle. You're already getting it in this energy as well. And literally that was what the sister reading of this reading said. Ooh. And you also have feeling alone with the five of pentacles. Yes, Leo. So I definitely feel like there's a change to your life where you have been astronomically been lacking in. And that's why you have full moon and cancer where a personal issue reaches resolution because it looks like there is a great achievement to an area of your life that you felt you were heavily lacking in, heavily lacking in a healed body. Heavily lacking in a health, healthy body. Heavily lacking in a financial department. Heavily lacking in the relationship department. This looks like it's going to hit the area of your life that you've been having the most issues with. Like this is number one issue for you. Wow. Okay, let's clarify Spirit, please clarify this for Leo. So there are new opportunities, new abundance, new possibilities in the area that you have been feeling the most lost in. That's what it is. That's what it's saying. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. This is for Leo, please. On the Wheel of Fortune, we have the star with heel. 
And it says the healing light. So you have the word heal on the word heal. So a lot of you have definitely been trying to create more healing and or you are definitely a healer as well. Some of you have been feeling chained to something as well. Some of you have been praying to break the chains or feel less trapped in a certain area of your life. On the world, we have the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. There it is. There's the newness. There's the great achievement. There's the new love. There's, there's the healing. There's the heart. There is the love for life. There's the purpose. There's the passion. There's the magic. And there's the miracles being restored for you. I mean, y'all, I can't make this up. You got the world to an ace. This is the ending of a cycle. This is a new cycle. Y'all, go back. Go back to that reading. I'll link it down below. I swear, I think I even said in that reading that your next reading will probably have an ace because your last reading had triple nines. And now this reading starts with triple ones. And you already have an emphasis on ones here with the event and now with the ace. So this is not only showing me newness for you, and it's not only a new achievement, this is also a new beginning. This is also a new offer. And on the five of pentacles, you have confront with the moon. So this is no longer hidden from you any longer here, Leo. Something is coming to the forefront for you, and it feels very, very divine. Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, two minors only, and one of them are an ace. So this is some astronomically strong energy. And this feels like totally outrageous for me here because I just cannot believe that this is what you're getting. Um, but I do want to continuously clarify with the Rider White just to get more answers here. Um, can you clarify this? For Leo once more and also show me an advice card and an outcome for this new moon in Scorpio daily situation vibe here we got going on please show me this is for Leo this is for Leo okay so on the star hello on the on the healing light the Wheel of Fortune, and the star, you have, oh my gosh, the Ace of Cups. Another one. There it is. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm freaking my own self out. All right, let's move through. On this Ace of Cups, you have the Seven of Wands. So a lot of you have put in some hard work and determination to get to this moment. Spirit has seen your struggle. They are seeing your struggle, Leo. And you also have the Six of Wands. There it is. There's your win. There's your victory lap. There you are finally reaching resolution. There you are finally being confronted with your own win. So it looks like you have had a hidden victory. That was very much hidden from you for most of the time. So it looks like you are coming into a totally new offer, a totally new cycle. Um, a lot of you have created this. A lot of you have wished and hoped for this. With the star here, that gives me prayer. So a lot of you have prayed for this. But it looks like you're coming into a strong win here. Your advice with this energy is the high priestess. So continuously trust your intuition. And continuously work on spiritually expanding. That's your advice. And I also feel the need to tell you that not every, but I get a sense of, I feel the need to tell you to move in silence. Because I feel like something amazing is going to happen for you. Here, where you're coming into a win or you're, something's happening for you where you're just loving life again here. And you have two aces and they're both the ace of cups. So this is showing me that it's emotionally making you feel great. And with the high priestess as your advice with this energy, I feel like for a lot of you, it's giving a move in silence energy. 
where not everybody needs to know about your wins. Just let them see you winning. You know, you don't have to actually say it. Just let the world see it. And your outcome is temperance. I'm telling you, patience. Your outcome is temperance, indicating this very special angel who's been working behind the scenes for you. So this has been this is showing me, Leo, you've waited for a while for this. And I feel like for a lot of you as well, you not only waited for a while, you also thought it would never happen. So I'm feeling whatever this is, whatever is changing your life, changing your daily routine, bringing you a resolution, giving you this reset, it truly has been something that I don't feel like you ever really saw happening for yourself. Whether it be emotional confessions, love offers, new love, new opportunities to do what you love, higher level ascension. Some of you could just be winning something. Um, on the five, you have the five of pentacles to the to the moon. So that kind of gives me winning something that you can hold. So you could win something of like money or a gift or you know. You put your name or your raffle in a grab bag and you win like a gift basket or something like that. That's kind of giving me the energy. But there's something about this energy that the fact that you have your outcome as temperance, whatever is happening for you around this time is divinely orchestrated. I feel it in the feelings. I feel it in the energy. I feel it in the reading. And now your outcome being temperance showing me that spirit has divinely orchestrated this for you. This has been up spirit sleeve for quite some time. And I literally just said that to y'all. Oh my gosh. I just said that to you. Like in the last reading, I just said that. I'm like, why did I feel like they're telling me that they have something for you? It's just not here yet. And now you're getting the energy of it being here. So there's something about this new moon in Scorpio that's bringing some sort of long awaited energy towards you or something that you just never thought would happen towards you. I need to know. I need to know. We have to clarify this. Why is the high priestess here with the advice and why is temperance here with the, they want me to use a different deck. No, I'm not going to use a different deck because I feel like if I use a different deck, you're just going to give me the ace of cups again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give it to me different. I would need different. Why is the High Priestess here to the Temperance card here for the advice and the outcome? Honestly, this is how I'd be talking to my spirits too, just not on camera. I'm like, guys, wait, relax, calm down. I need to know. I need to this. So sorry, this, po this portion is just being recorded. Okay. The High Priestess as your advice is the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's something about keeping this to yourself. But there's something... It's like an emotional wish fulfillment. It's like you're receiving some sort of wish fulfillment that's going to make you feel emotionally supercharged up and emotional happiness. You know, it's not just like that fiery passion happiness. It's like you truly feel good in the heart. There you go. And on temperance as your outcome, we have the start. Y'all, y'all, cup, cup, earth, water, as above, so below, earth, water, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm getting super, super hot right now. Both the star and temperance have one foot on earth and one foot in the heavens, in the divine world, in the 5D Oh my gosh. This is really strong wish fulfillment, y'all. This has been divinely orchestrated. So I feel the need to tell some of y'all Leos, let, just let this week unfold. Let today unfold. Let this week unfold. I feel like this, I feel like the universe is going to really surprise you because, you know, double star energy and you got the star on the wheel of fortune here. And then you got the star on the temperance card over here. And how funny, how funny 
this deck told me to get a different deck. And I said, no, 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 y'all just want a different deck because I feel like you want to put the Ace of Cups in a different deck over here. And how funny, it's like they're talking back to me here because now they're like, well, I'm going to give you another card that's already out. Here's the star. The message is out. That's what it is. So that's what it is. They're in control. I'm not. They talking back to me too. Well, there you go, Leo. Something great's gonna happen for you here, and it's gonna. It look. I mean, I I feel very strongly it's going to change your life, and I know that that is something people throw out all the time and put as titles here and there. You know, they try to get you to do this, or try to get you to do that. But I mean, the proof is in the pudding here. It literally says it. So, whether you have that belief system or not, um, divine intervention is going to happen for you no matter what. And I feel like you're not only, the star is the energy for me that you're not only receiving the wish you want. This is the wish fulfillment. This is the healing. This is the hope that spirit feels like you need. And I feel like the star wish fulfillment is always better than the nine of cups wish fulfillment because sometimes you don't even think you want things until they come your way and you're like wow this is amazing so leo let's get your ending oracle honestly i'm so in like i'm so into this reading right now that i even forgot that in that we do ending oracles like who am i um okay so let's see what you got going on here in terms of zodiac signs in the spread that could be around you or in your chart, there isn't a really, really strong emphasis on Aquarius energy. And Aquarius is also a fixed sign. So there's some sort of energy about fixed signs because you also do have the Wheel of Fortune and the World, which are both ruled by fixed sign energy, which is you, Leo, Aquarius, Cap... No. I'm like, what? No. No. Who the heck is another fixed sign? Scorpio. Sorry. Um, and Taurus. You also have Pisces, Sagittarius, and Virgo. And you also have Cancer up here as well. Pay attention to the ones, y'all. I cannot stress this to you enough. Pay attention to the ones. They're going to be important to your life somehow, some way. Spirit is going to talk to you through this energy. So we're going to get you an ending oracle from the wisdom of the hidden realms here and see who your ally and power position is um and then we're gonna get one from the moon phase deck because we are in a moon phase and you know we do that kind of stuff okay so you do have a flyer out here and i mean of course you do here it is i'm really not surprised at all this card flew out the web weaver Synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. Card number four. Yep. Here we go with the web with the web weaver. I'm gonna read this interpretation from the book. The web weaver rejoices that your creations are far reaching and have positive effects on many. You just got this card. Someone did. Y'all, if this was the ending oracle in the sister reading that I'm thinking of, I will truly log off. No, I'm kidding. I won't log off. Um, but this this is actually on um, page 11. Every action, every thought, every word and deed is woven into the web of creation. When the web weaver appears as your ally, she grants you the way to others of like mind and intention and lets you know you're not alone in your endeavors. Yeah, I feel like I've just read this for someone. Just when you need to make a connection, like magic, synchronicity appears. Music reverberates through their web and plays in harmony with your own. This is a sign to trust in the connectivity between all events. Magic is afoot for you. Potential grows into rely reliability with care and patience. Remember that the web reaches far and wide and you're only capable of perceiving a small part of it. Trust and pay attention to the patterns you see play out in your life. All things will be revealed through the web. Yeah, and I feel like the number one is trying to communicate to you. I feel like spirit is using the number one to talk to you somehow. So wherever you are receiving this number, pay attention. 
Now, I'm really observant, so I'll give you a little key indication of what I do. So, I don't only read license plates. I'll look at what type of car this license plate is on, what type of make of car, um, what, what um, bumper stickers they have on their car. You know, if you win off a lottery ticket, what was the game's name? There's, you know, stuff like that. So let's see. Uh, Moonology Manifestation as your ending oracle from the moon deck. Because you know we're in the moon vibe. So I have to throw in a moon ending oracle for y'all. So let's see what we have here from the Moonology Manifestation deck here for you, Leo. And you have New Moon in Libra. No, you are loved. Beautiful. All right. And I feel like that's what's happening. I feel like if you didn't know you were loved, I feel like something is going to happen for you around this time that you are going to receive a very strong download that you are loved by the universe. You are loved by your passed on loved ones, your ancestors, your spirit guides, um, others of you as well as that. There could be some physical energy that shows you you are loved by another person. But some of you, it may not necessarily be a person, but I feel like it can be tangible. I feel like for some of you, you can be able to hold this. So let's see. New moon in Libra. Some of you have Libra energy in your chart or around you. Doesn't have to be, but here we go. Ooh, there's new or renewed love energy around you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Be it fam family, platonic, romantic, or otherwise, whether you're single or attached, a new personal or professional relationship cycle is starting for you. Open your heart and be loving. The trick is to get involved with people you like or even you love, be that on a personal or platonic level. If you want a new friend, you're on the right track. For a work or money question, a new start is highly likely. In love, the sky is the limit now. When you react with love, this card is especially good matters for this card is an especially good sign for matters related to romance, a job interview or any important relationship. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. Your manifestation to say to yourself is love makes my world go round. So now, because this is a new moon, because we are getting that out, comment that on this reading. Love makes my world go round. Get it out there. Do it, do it, do it so. And um, I did want to mention that to you here, Leos, as well of the power of writing things down. I am... So this is the part when I tell my story. So the people who don't want to hear that, it's time for y'all to click the X button. But my super, super charged up Leo friends, I do have something to share. So I basically went underneath my old bed and found a bunch of notebooks. And uh, they weren't even like notebooks. They were um, like portfolio. It was almost for like artist drawings. But I guess I was manifesting in there. And I was just writing things over and over and over. Y'all, let me, I, I don't, I must, I don't know why I can't, I can remember doing it, but I don't remember doing it as much. So I must have been on the spiritual la la land when doing it most of the time. But I wrote down so many things connected to manifesting a YouTube channel. Oh my God. Astronomically crazy. I have three notebooks full Full, all pages full, front and back of me manifesting to become more spiritually ascended, more spiritually advanced, become a spiritual advisor, intuition stronger, manifest the things I want, things along those lines. And honestly, seeing that and then going back to the communities that I've built on this uh, place of the tube of YouTube, I'm like, oh, shiznit. I get, I, it like sometimes it always is just like wow to me. Like I know it works, but there are just moments that you have where you have those look back moments, and you're like, oh, isn't it? It don't. It doesn't only work. It like really works. So I feel the need to tell y'all to affirm in the comment section, specifically of this reading. Write down your affirmations. 
over and over and over and over again. And if you have a notebook yourself, definitely do it. And because I haven't, like I write things down still, but just, I guess not as much as them three notebooks that were filled. So I was just like, wow. So I almost had that reminder to myself to write again. And I feel the need to remind some of y'all and put it out there as much as possible. And I felt called to read that manifestation affirmation that they give you in that book. So love makes your world go round. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. This is probably one of your best readings I have done thus far within the last like month or two. So I'm super excited for y'all. Please come back to this reading within the next week or so and let me know if this new moon in Scorpio did influence you in this way? What happened for you and anything all else? Because I do care about the things that happen for you guys as well. So thank you, Leos. I love y'all so, so very much. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you're in the world. Happy new moon. Stay grounded. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Bye now.